Hi, I'll be doing a series of videos on the believer security. Now, before I start with this video, I guess the one thing is, do you know you're born again? And we'll talk about that probably in another video. But the question is, yes, I know I'm saved. I know it, but sometimes I think I could lose it. Let me give you at least one thought, and we're going to continue this in a few videos. But the Bible says that a Christian is adopted. Now, it's really important that whenever a word is used, we have to understand what the hearer says. If I were to use the words refrigerator, and somebody later on says that I'm meaning a football, obviously uh, that couldn't be accurate because the words will be used to, uh, to convey the common meaning. Well, the Bible uses the word adoption, and that was a Roman term. Uh, the Jews did not adopt. If your parents died, you were just immediately brought into the family. There was no legal situation. That was just happened automatically. But in the Roman world, the Greco-Roman world, when somebody was uh, adopted by a father, the, the idea of adoption is to make another man's son yours. And when somebody was adopted, it's very interesting because under Roman law, if somebody is adopted they could never be thrown out of the family. If you were born to a, a family, you could do something and you could be kicked out. But what's interesting is that the Bible uses the term adoption. Why? Because it is that clad promise that our behavior does not determine whether or not we stay in the family or not. It is God who adopts us. It is God who brings us into his family. And he promises, just with the idea of adoption, he promises that our eternity, our, uh, our salvation is secure. That no matter what we do, he will never stop being our father. Just the idea of adoption, we can't argue that. That's just what it means, all right? I uh, look forward to talking to you again uh, just as we approach some other ideas. Bless you. Bye.